Hey everybody, Coach Payne here. I'm at the Fitness Casa headquarters. One of my favorite uh, fitness suppliers that I've been partnered up with for about a year and a half now. And they've invited me to do an analysis of these three dumbbells. Over here we have the Bowflex, Bowflex Select Tech, the Newell Bell, and the Octabell by Fitness Casa. Stay tuned and we're going to walk you through which ones we think are the best fit. So a quick little background rundown on myself. I've been in the fitness industry for about five years now. I have an honors bachelor of science degree in kinesiology, tons of certifications, and I was the head coach at F45 for about three years. And recently I opened up my own studio. I primarily work with people in a one-on-one -on -one context, but also online. And basically my, I'd say my specialties are resistance training and nutrition. So. I opened up my own studio and I needed to take a few things into consideration. One, what's a cost effective solution? Two, what's going to save me the most amount of space? And three, when traveling to my clients, I need to make sure that I have the ease of transport and mobility for bringing around equipment. Um, you know, I, I tried out quite a few different dumbbells. I actually went off with a lower grade dumbbell similar to this one and had quite a few issues and knew right away that you know I, I've got to make sure that I, I choose one that's going to give me long lasting return on my investment. Um, all of these dumbbells are great and I wanted just to kind of go over which one I think is the best one for yourself, all of you watching this video, to make sure that you have all the knowledge to make the, the most educated decision possible. So going to kind of walk you along my dumbbell journey all right and I started off with the Bowflex at the time I was looking for like, like I had mentioned a cost effective and space saving solution and this is the first option I came across of to be honest great product and it, it got the job done up to a certain point with that said there were certain things that um, I definitely needed to improve upon so let's start with the, the pros of the Bowflex what I do like about the Bowflex is up to about 22 and a half pounds, you can actually move in 2.5 pound increments, which is good when you kind of hit a wall in terms of making progressions in your resistance training. Um, you know, it still stays space and, you know, the functionality still gets the job done. It's pretty smooth. Um, however, I'd probably say the biggest downfall of the Bowflex dumbbell is the actual length. So let me, let me show you what I mean by that. If I go to a, a, a five pound weight here, you actually take the whole skeleton with you, right? Now, that might seem fine and dandy. However, when you end up doing exercises like a shoulder press, what will happen is the dumbbell is going to hit each other. And you're actually not going to get full range of motion of the movement, which kind of defeats the purpose because what you want to do is challenge the muscle as much as possible. Another kind of, I'd say, area of improvement for the Bowflex is, let's just go a little bit heavier here, I'm going to go to 25 pounds, is when you do something like a goblet squat, the actual shape of the plates is kind of awkward, right? So if you have somebody that has a, a wider frame, it's going to put their shoulders into quite a bit of internal rotation, and it can just kind of get a little jammy and feel uncomfortable. So, you know, some of my clients are... are taller individuals and with wider frames so I, I'm like listen I gotta find a solution that's a little bit more oh, here we go. Um, fits their kind of structure a little bit better and also as my clients and myself got stronger what I needed to do is find a dumbbell that went a little bit heavier because you know when you hit a plateau a great way to move through that plateau is to add more weight looking at another solution I came across the Newell Bell uh, by Fitness Casa and right away I just love the look of it as you can see it's a really nice sharp looking dumbbell which I appreciate it's not just about the functionality I want to look good when I'm working out as do my clients um, some great things about the the new bell here is the fact that um, the ease of use so as opposed to two dials on the Bowflex you actually have a really quick easy selection mechanism uh, for the new bell which is just great when you're transitioning between exercises and doing things like supersets. Um, also, it's just a nice, compact, strong-built dumbbell. I really feel secure when I'm using it. Nothing's really moving around. I've dropped these quite a few times, um, and th they are long-lasting. I don't recommend doing that. However, I haven't had any issues. Um, 
And also you have to consider that the length of the dumbbell. So if you recall back when I did the uh, Bowflex example, now because the actual length of the dumbbell is shorter, when I do an exercise like a shoulder press, imagine I have two holding here, the dumbbells aren't going to run into each other, right? And that's a massive thing to consider because, again, you don't want to limit the, the range of motion that you have in any exercise that you're doing. Um, very easy to put the dumbbell back. It just fits smooth. Um, and honestly, I love it. Another point that I really like about the Newell Bell is the fact that it goes up to 80 pounds. Now it's important to mention that Bowflex does um, offer a dumbbell that goes up to 90 pounds and I did look at that option. However, the reason why I decided to go with the Newell Bell at that time was the fact that the 90 pound Bowflex dumbbell is even longer than this one. So if you consider the fact that the, a big part of the reason why I chose this one was the length when I'm doing those exercises, that's just adding more kind of problem to the solution I was looking to, uh, to work around. All right, coming at you with a couple more pros and cons here. So considering that the fact that the Bowflex uh, plates are plastic and the Newell Bell plates are made out of primarily steel with a plastic attachment, I've actually run into a couple issues. Now, Bowflex had no problem replacing this, but when my clients have actually dropped these from not even that high of a, a height, these pieces have broken. Whereas, knock on wood, when the Newell Bells have been dropped from about the same height and the same weight, they've been able to withstand the impact, which is definitely nice because I don't want to have to deal with the you know, whole exchange process. So another thing that I want to touch upon when you're um, making a decision between which dumbbell to go with is the fact that, say for example, one of your plates did break. Now the beautiful thing about the Newell Bell is the fact that the plates are interchangeable. And what I mean by that is this plate is the same weight as this plate. So if one does break, you're still going to be allowed to use a balanced dumbbell. Now, the challenge with the Bowflex is the fact that each plate is a different weight. So let me show you what I mean by that. Let's go with a, let's just set it to 22 and a half. Good. Now, this plate is significantly bigger than this plate, which is significantly bigger than this plate. So if you were to break one of these, the dumbbell would be lopsided. <laughs>
Absolutely love the Nuobel. Honestly, no complaints. I'm very happy with it. A lot of my in-person clients love it, and my online clients are often looking for a solution. Now, Fitness Cast is my go-to resource. They're the ones that are the, on the, the link on these, and I've sent many cluster, customers to Fitness Casa. Um, however, the downfall is that the Newell Bells can be a little bit on the pricier option. So I was actually sending a client to Fitness Casa for their at-home gym, um, and you know they was mentioned to me that they have this Octa Belt, which is honestly nice-looking dumbbell, and it's a little bit more cost-effective. So as soon as I heard that, I had to come check it out, and that's why we're doing this video today. All right, so here I am at the Fitness Casa headquarters checking out the Octobell by Fitness Casa. At first glance, I love the look of it. Uh, it's nice and sleek. Kind of reminds me of the old school hex uh, bells that I see at gyms quite frequently. Um, I think the best way to kind of get a feel for it is to use it. So let's just check the uh, the mechanism first. Okay, it goes in five pound increments. It's actually really smooth. Yeah, Pretty much the same there. All right, let's give it a couple reps and see how it feels. All right. Okay, so it's got steel plates. I like the grip. Nice and compact. Good size. Feels natural. That's a nice dumbbell. I like it. In comparison, honestly, both of these dumbbells are great. The whole reason I'm here is because I heard these are new and I got to check them out and some of my clients have been looking for a more cost-effective solution. Um, and as soon as I heard the Octobell was at a more favorable price point, I had to come check them out. Now, definitely kind of eases uh, any concerns I have knowing that Fitness Cast has a two-year warranty and they do sell both dumbbells, right? So, you know, it's gonna be up to you to decide which one you want. Both are great options, um, but if you're looking for something that's a little more friendly on the pockets, I'd recommend definitely kind of coming to the Fitness Casa headquarters to fill it out yourself, and um, yeah, and then just go from there and get lifted. All right, thanks for tuning into the video. Hopefully, you found the video valuable in making a, an informed decision in terms of purchasing an adjustable dumbbell. Make sure you check out Fitness Casa for. Um, you know, a trusted supplier of these dumbbells that we have here, um, and subscribe to the channel. I know that they've got some cool things in the works. Also, if you're looking for some fitness advice, I gotta throw in a you know shout out to myself. Check out my Instagram, Coach Double Underscore Pain, P A Y N E. If you need any help, any tips, if you got any questions in terms of these dumbbells or any fitness related inquiries, hit me up. I'm here to help. And uh, you know, thanks for tuning in. Peace.